Hey, everybody. Welcome to another episode of your favorite podcast and YouTube show. And my favorite podcast and YouTube show. The Burbs. The Burbs. I'm Dustin. Jordan. That is Jordan. That is his name. Look at that beard. That is luscious. He went to the dentist today and they just sent him away and said, you need another appointment. (laughs) So that's how the the kind of day we're having is going so far. Uh, but but Jordan, I, okay, I'm going back to our roots. I'm doing the history of this thing. I got into it. I don't. Maybe we should mention our new studio. If you want to, I do want to because I worked really hard on it. <laughs> okay. Uh, th- it. So welcome to our new studio. This is a kind of a permanent space in a dungeon in my basement. Let us know if you like it down in the comments. Yeah, and if you don't, I don't give a crap because <laughs> I mean it's not even done. Like well, you just wait. You just wait. But anyway, uh, going back to our roots, uh, I've got some things to tell you about this specific thing you should have a bourbon fountain oh what if like it, what if it was like fountain, a fountain but it was no bourbon. what what if we revealed the bourbon with a button you know, like people have those tvs oh, that go yeah. up and it's like hey you want to know what it is click, click, click. <laughs> that'd be cool man build that for us George. that would probably cost more than the bourbon yeah but so i would assume so, so when we start getting free bourbon oh yeah let's we'll just do we'll it do it then sounds good good idea high five okay so in the past, if you've never watched the show before, I'll, first of all, congratulations. You've used your time wisely. <laughs> Second of all, uh, but if you have watched it and you know the history, we used to kind of deep dive a distillery and we'd talk about it. And then we got lazy at some point. We just yeah, wanted to drink the bourbon. Flying by the seat of our pants. Yeah, that's true. Shooting from the hip. Ooh. Speaking of which, shooting from the hip. Oh, is that a segue? Yes. Oh. This distillery is not located not in Kentucky. Not the kind you ride, though. Not that segue. No. <laughs> I don't think they make those anymore. I think too many people got hurt. Mm, just small cops. Uh, this d- distillery is located in Wanship, Utah. Don't say anything. Wanship. 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 W-A-N-S-H-I-P. Wanship, Utah. Utah. It's a distillery, a refectory, a general store and an event space. <laughs> that you know my theory about people that do too many things. They don't do anything good. <laughs> I think you might change your mind on this okay. one. I didn't know what a refectory was. I don't know either. And so I had to look it up. A refectory is like a restaurant. It's oh. just a fancy, like old time. I thought restaurant. you at first said like a reflectory, like you go there to reflect on things. Which mm-hmm. would make sense for, you know, bourbon or whiskey or whatever. Yeah. This is. That would work. That's not what I said. <laughs> Uh, so the place is gorgeous. I looked at pictures online and stuff. It's incredible. But here's the history real quick. In a nutshell. Are you going to put the pictures in the picture frames? No. Uh, (laughs) That's too much for it. (laughs) Maybe I will. I don't know. (laughs) In 2001, biochemist David Perkins goes to a distillery in Kentucky on a visit. Old D. Perkins. Old D.P. (sighs) David Perkins. I think I know what this is. Okay. Just chill. You don't. I okay. promise. In 2001, the bio, he's a biochemist. I don't know. Me and Dave Perkins go way back. <laughs> Listen, he's a biochemist. He got inspired and he opened his own distillery in 2006. Okay. So he went and he saw the the distillation process, got psyched. He's like, I'm a biochemist. I can, I can do this. <laughs> I mean, if these moonshiners who don't have teeth can do it, I could definitely do it because I went to college. Um, and so he opened the first distillery in Utah since 1870. That's a that's a pretty solid like feather in your cap, I would say. Yeah, what is like, that? A flex. The flex. Yes. That's what the young people say. Yes. I, us us old people say feather in your cap. <laughs> right. And you call me macaroni. <laughs> I don't even know what any of that means either. But he but David saw parallels in his biochemistry work and the whiskey distilling. And so he decided I'm gonna do it. They started very, very like small. I guess this is small, uh, very humble with a 250 gallon still. And a saloon that they opened that used to be an old stable, like a for saloon, horses, like a, yeah, like a saloon, yeah. So they opened like Western doors, not unlike the Burbs, right? Like a saloon. We started with a club, and we're we're working towards getting our liquor license and opening a bourbon experience, okay. right? So that's what they did. I thought that was fascinating that they. I mean, two hundred fifty gallons. That's only that's very much when you look at bourbon and how much bourbon. Like if you're selling to stores, it's like one hundred and twenty-five two-liter bottles of soda. No, that that's not gallons. <laughs> that's milks, milks. Yeah, two hundred fifty milks. Two hundred fifty milk jugs. Yeah, 
Is that right? right? If we're wrong, tell us. We're not mathematicians. <laughs> so, but then here's what happened. So 2001, he gets inspired. 2006, they opened their mm-hmm. distillery. In 2016, they were named the Distillery of the Year uh, by Whiskey Advocate Magazine. That's eight, eight years. That's pretty impressive. I mean, some of these people have been doing, making bourbon and moonshine and stuff in the, in the backwoods of Tennessee and, and Alabama's and Arkansas's. But everybody gets life. a medal. All you got to do is put it in there. But Whiskey Advocate <laughs> Magazine, I do respect. Okay. I have a subscription, four issues a month, if you guys want to sponsor us. <laughs> anyway, uh, so. You lost your spot. Oh, no. 2015. No, yeah, no. Whiskey so all that, right? Okay, check it out. We're getting ready for the tasting. So this, this is a first for our show. Okay. We're about to make history right uh, now. Is it really from Midtown Market? No. Okay. Uh, and so I need you to turn around, please. Face away. Because I'm not going to reveal it that way. I got to pour it first. Okay. Uh, while, he's, while he's got his there's back a, to us, guys. There's a me, dead spider over there. Let me, shh. <laughs> let, me talk, let me talk about Jordan for a second. Jordan. Uh, I can hear you. Just because I'm not looking oh. at you doesn't mean I can't hear you. Yeah, that's true. Good point. Maybe I should have pre-opened this. Probably. So I'm not doing it on the air. But we're not live, so it's okay. Okay. And that sounds like okay, plastic sh- wrap. Sh- sh- that was a cork pop. Nice, right? So I'm not showing them and I'm not showing you. Oh, you're not even showing them. No, no one knows. It'll be revealed in due time. So this is blind tasting for me. Yeah, this is a full blind. I want you to I want you to look at it. I want you to talk about its color profile, its nose, all of those things. Okay, you can look back. All right. Wow, it is bright ass orange. Wow, you said a swear word. Gatorade. You said a swear word. No, you know what this looks like? Dayquil. Okay, so let's go to the nose. It's orange. It does smell orangey. Shit, this is orange. You said two swear words, dude. (laughs) What are you, dude? Family show. (laughs) There's a lot of eight year olds that want to know about bourbon. I think the dentist. I think. Something. Did you look at the bottom of this? This looks like cloudy, or maybe you just gave me a dirty glass. I mean, both are very <laughs> possible. All right. So the nose is orangey. Yeah, dude. It smells like citrus. It does. It does. You ready for taste? Sure. That's a premixed cocktail. That's an old fashioned. Utah? Is this that um, high west uh, old fashioned? It's my friend. Nice work. <laughs> this is ta da! Oh. First for us, we've never had a Nailed premixed it. drink on the show. Not you wow. did. Wow. <laughs> you did. Um, we've never had a premixed drink on the show, but. I saw it on the shelf today, and I am a huge fan of High West. I think you're yeah, a pretty big fan I like of High, High West, West too. big time. Um, this is good for a premix. Well, look, I didn't even put the orange in. I haven't done the, you know, like I haven't. I haven't there's not an ice. Like there's do, a lot of. Do we get a second drink? Where we're you going to? We're going to go upstairs up. after this. You're going to smoke it? Yeah, we're going to. No, I'm not going to smoke it. But I'm going to do the the lemon. I mean the uh, orange peel, and uh, some ice. We're going to have another one. But uh, it's good, right? It is very good. I've never had this before. And you know what? It has that sweet, you know, simple syrup kind of thing. You really get the orange. Mm -hmm. Um, And what I like about it, I mean, I've ordered Old Fashions and Manhattan's places. And a lot of times you lose the burn Mm -hmm. of the drink. Can I tell you why? This has it. You know why? Uh, Because it's high proof. (laughs) It's got got a rye. 80, 86%. proof. Proof. Check it out. This is a premium pre-batched cocktail matured in used rye barrels. So they make it, then they put it in the bar and back in the barrels. Back in the barrels. Back in the barrels. They are allowing the flavor to create a rich, smooth, and well-rounded product. The ABV is 43%, which makes it 86 proof. Uh, the nose, they say it's cassia or cassia bark. Do you know what that is? No. Okay. <laughs> uh, licorice root, or as you like to say, anise. Anise. Uh, orange spice tea, sandalwood, that's the nose. The taste is orange zest, dried cherries, sassafras, allspice, orange cinnamon, 
Oh, orange cinnamon buns. I thought it was orange cinnamon comma buns, but that would. I get the sassafras. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> Isn't that like root beer? That's sarsaparilla. Oh. I actually don't know what sassafras tastes like. The mash bill. This is going to surprise everybody. Maybe no one. I don't know. But the mash bill is straight bourbon whiskey, 75% corn, 21% rye, and 4% barley malt from MGP. You're actually you're frustrated. <laughs> The, uh, He's a biochemist, so what's he do? He buys this stuff from MGP. <laughs> we love you, man. Don't listen to this guy. Straight rye whiskey, ninety-five percent rye, five percent barley from MGP. It's he's, but he's a he's not maybe not a master distiller, maybe he is I don't know, but he's a he's a master blender. You said they distilled. That's what biochemists they do. They started distilling with. No, they do with. So does High West distill their own yes. stuff? Yes. So that t since they were making a premixed cocktail, they're like, let's use someone else's. No, I think what they do is like, I've looked at some of their other stuff, some of their other uh, drinks and like some of the other mash bills and they're doing crazy stuff. Like they have one uh, bourbon out right now that's part their stuff, High West, part MGP and part, part Heaven Hill. Hmm. So they're, they're buying stuff. And I mean, I, I feel like this guy's kind of a mad scientist. Like he's trying to find the best stuff. I'm the mad guy. A little bit of this, a yeah. little bit of that. So uh, this is what they say. Uh, this is their quote from, from uh, High West. And I quote, We drive complexity in our old fashioned by using both bourbon and rye whiskeys, which lends earthy sweet corn notes and dry rye spice, pulled together with an unrefined raw sugar, uh, sugar simple syrup and bitters. We then arrest the cocktail in a second use rye whiskey barrel to marry the flavors and round out its character, ultimately lending and enhanced fullness to the drink. So as you raise your glass to the mountain sunset, rest assured, we've taken every step to craft a cocktail for discerning whiskey lovers like us. There's no mountains around here. Wives. What if High West makes- Our wives have mountains. Makes a second, second location and they call it Midwest and they start having stuff. Here. Midwest. Um, what I think is interesting is the second, you know, second use rye barrel because it's, you know, it's got rye in it. It's 90 or let's see. How much rye is it? I said this earlier. It changes over time. Like, I feel like I it's get more of the now. bitters. See, I feel like there's less sweet. Mm. I think, you know, I was expecting a whiskey, so I was expecting not sweet at the mm. beginning. And I mean, whiskey can be sweet, but that was very sweet. Yeah, very and sweet. now, like now that I've adjusted, like I get more of the, the flavors. Well, I can definitely tell that drinks like this need ice because for me, it's way too sweet, but I love old fashions. Oh, oh you like it? Ice. <laughs> I do because I want it to open up more. I just don't, I'm not a sweets guy and I feel like it's very sweet. I feel like it's getting sweeter like you. I saw that coming <laughs> and I couldn't say anything because I was in mid drink. <laughs> I wanted it to come out your nose. <laughs> All right. So, what do you think? Was that a good show? Was that a good, yeah, good choice? I mean, I, I I would put it over ice, so my drink would be bigger and longer. <laughs> and I would not the experience I've had. Enjoy it, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think we're gonna go upstairs and have one. So, <laughs> hey, thanks everybody for watching. If you guys want, keep paying attention uh, down at the bottom here to our online club where we're, we've either just launched or getting very close to on, uh, launching an online club where we get uh, to spend time with everybody on the internet, like anybody anywhere in the world. Like we've, we've had such a fun time spending time with our friends, mm -hmm. bourbon friends um, here locally, but not everyone lives in the St. Louis area. So we're getting ready to do some stuff online. Maybe we can have an old fashioned together. That'd be, that'd be super fun. So till next time. Deuces. How does this uh, rank compared to the uh, the bullet? The bullet way better. <laughs>